legendary number one hit band. It promises power, omnipotence, immortality. But at what cost? One that is greater than any man can imagine, and heavier than any man can bear. No soul who has ever worn its tattered grace has ever escaped the torment of its infinite burden. So many times I had to sneak up on them quicker with my finger on the trigger like, like I'm pulling out my sword. This is combat, man, this is war. Hello, welcome to Cryptonomics, where we discuss crypto, economics, and general investing. Today, we will be discussing Ethereum's quest for number one, a lesson from Afro Samurai. The Afro Samurai's guide to understanding Ethereum's position as number two. The trajectory of Ethereum in the cryptocurrency market can be insightfully paralleled with the narrative of the animated series Afro Samurai. Ethereum is not just another cryptocurrency, it stands on the brink of surpassing Bitcoin to become the most valuable digital currency. Unlike its counterparts, Ethereum's robust revenue generation and cash flow mechanism make it comparable to leading technology companies, offering a familiar landscape for traditional investor, investors. This is important because there is a spot ETF on the horizon. In the coming six months are pivotal, with a key event such as Bitcoin halving, which is supposed to happen in April of 2024, and the anticipated ETF, spot ETF launched, launch of Bitcoin, and then followed by that Ethereum, both poised to significantly impact Ethereum's market value. I am overall bullish on Ethereum as the asset, but as these events unfold, I am bullish the entire digital asset industry. The rising tide often lifts all crypto boats. But I, I feel best aboard the Ethereum ship, especially once the tide pulls out. Ethereum is the cornerstone of our all-weather crypto portfolio. Smaller projects will often have better returns in the bull market. But once the market pulls back, Ethereum and Bitcoin usually rise to the top as survivors. So let us begin with a recap. A brief overview of what Ethereum did. Ethereum experienced a significant low in 2020, with its value dropping to around $80. For simplicity, we'll just round that figure up to $100, acknowledging that it is difficult to precisely time the bottom of the market. The year 2021 saw a remarkable surge, with Ethereum reaching its high nearly $5,000. However, in the wake of the recent market domino falls, including Terra Luna DPEG and collapse in early 2022, which led to the downfall of Three Arrows Capital and subsequent bankruptcy, Voyager, Celsius, all these other lending platforms that were interwoven together and uh, depending on Terra Luna, and then followed by the infamous FTX collapse and their fraud in late 2022, Ethereum's value fluctuated between $1,000 and $2,000. This sideways crab walk in price was accompanied by regulatory pressure from public enemies number one and number two, Gary Glenn Gensler, the chair of the SEC, and the Massachusetts Senator Liz Warren, both who seem to want to ban crypto as the whole asset class and push it offshore because they want to keep their cronies in power in the traditional finance. Presently, Ethereum hovers around the midpoint of this range, approximately $2,000. But it is up 33% in the last 30 days alone and up 74% year to date. While some investors may view a tenfold increase from its low point as commendable and a 20-fold increase from $100 to $2,000 as extraordinary, the mainstream narrative often focuses on the approximate 60% decline from the peak of $5,000 to where it sits now at $2,000. This perspective underscores the need for a long-term view in cryptocurrency investments to extend it beyond a three-year horizon. You can't th think in such short terms and now look at the big picture. It is still up 
20x from 2020, even while it's down 60%. Those who entered the peak and witnessed the 60% reduction in the, in the value share a common fate with many tech stocks, which experienced similar declines even worse after their highs in uh, 2021. Afro Samurai. I'm about to connect two worlds that to my knowledge have not been juxtaposed before, so hold on tight, my anime and crypto nerds alike. Afro Samurai is a popular manga and award-winning anime series voiced by none other than Samuel L. Jackson and music by Wu-Tang, member RZA. The series is a must-watch for enthusiasts of samurai culture, anime, or hip-hop. It offers a compelling narrative that parallels the world of cryptocurrency. However, you do not have to have seen Afro Samurai to benefit from the analogy of Afro Samurai and what it shares with crypto. In Afro Samurai's universe, warriors seek two particular headbands, number one and number two, which grant warriors power and prestige. The person who wears the number one headband is considered the most powerful fighter in the world to have godlike powers. However, there's a catch. Only the wearer of the number two headband can challenge and fight the holder of the number one headband. On the other hand, anyone can challenge the holder of the number two headband. This system creates a continuous and relentless set of challenges for the number two headband wearer. A challenger doesn't have the right nor should even consider themselves worthy to be number one unless they can at least beat number two. Let us explore Ethereum's number two position in the cryptocurrency market and how it can be analogously understood through this narrative of Afro Samurai. Position of Perpetual Challenge In the dynamic realm of cryptocurrency, Ethereum holds the notable position of being the second largest by market capitalization, consistently trailing behind the frontrunner Bitcoin. This status places Ethereum in a unique and challenging spot within the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Occupying the second rank means Ethereum leads over vast majority of other cryptocurrencies. However, it simultaneously becomes the prime target for emerging smaller blockchain projects aspiring to establish their presence in the market. These projects frequently aim to address perceived limitation of Ethereum of Ethereum's design or to carve out a niche that Ethereum has yet to fulfill or exploit. A common strategy among these competing blockchains involves navigating a well-known blockchain trilemma, which posits the blockchain network can excel in two of three key areas, decentralization, security, and speed. This inherent trade-off means while these new entrants may offer improvements in certain aspects, they often do this at the expense of others, highlighting the complexity and complex balancing act inherent in blockchain technology and development. The Ethereum Killer's Compromise In the evolving landscape of smart contract blockchains, several platforms, often labeled as Ethereum Killers, position themselves as superior, uh, superior alternatives to Ethereum. These platforms tout enhanced capabilities, particularly in the terms of transaction processing speed or higher transaction per second, TPS, suggesting the potential shift in user preference due to this technological improvement. The prevailing argument these challengers uh, present is pretty straightforward. A blockchain with a higher TPS and greater speed is pivotal to mass adoption essential to compete with established transaction systems like Visa. This perspective, however, overlooks the critical aspect of blockchain technology, particularly for those new to the cryptocurrency sector. This specious claim also preys on the ignorance of a newcomer who is not familiar with the blockchain trilemma. It is crucial to understand the trilemma, which often involves trade-offs among decentralization, security, and scalability, in their pursuit of speed and scalability, these Ethereum killers made a compromise on decentralization or security, 
aspects that are fundamental to the ethos of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. While these TPS figures sometimes are impressive, they often come at a cost, raising an important question about the value of such a trade-off. Now, I want to encourage our listeners to be critical and evaluate these claims when a blockchain claims to be an Ethereum killer. If a blockchain project sacrifices decentralization, it raises the per per permanent question. Why not opt out to a traditional centralized service like Venmo instead? A centralized blockchain solution diverges significantly from the core principles of cryptocurrency blockchain technology and thus should be assessed through a different lens. It is essential to consider whether the gains in speed and scalability justify the compromises that were made in, in decentralization and security. Crypto enthusiasts consistently prioritize decentralization over speed, adhering to the fundamental ethos that sprouted the creation of the entire industry, a commonality you will find among both Bitcoin and Ethereum diehards. That will wrap up Afro Samurai intro. The rest of the podcast and the article are available in our Substack, link in the description. I want to thank you for joining us and welcome you to Cryptonomics, the channel where I do the heavy lifting in unraveling the latest in crypto and stock markets. Here, I simplify complex topics for newcomers and provide a refresher for those already in the know. Learn, invest, and grow with our community gain exclusive alpha and access to our real money investment portfolios. I'm here to share my expertise in investment and economics. Armed with an experienced Zen mindset, I will guide you on your investment journey through bull and bear markets alike. As we are just getting started, don't forget to share, follow, subscribe, stay tuned, and stay informed. And as always, may the force of compound interest be with you. We the bread winning, baby, making pill, popping liquor, sipping blunt, smoking gun, so and see how these niggas live in herb, burning word purchase. Curve serving, got you hooked by the first purchase. First chirping cops listening with the guns sitting on their laps, cause of that, the t shirts on the block like stop snitching. Living by the cold of the samurai, dreams put a hole like operator standing by. What you rap with your heart or your weapon is question. What you rap with a Glock for a message and a rhyme, a teacher can use as a part of a lesson, the choice between being a gangster and an artist is Started, you end it. You confront like you were gangster artists, but that ain't the smartest decision. Niggas will test you. They say you ain't the hardest, regardless of what you spend, homie. Rizzy told me that the game is flipping, nothing he spent for me.